All right, guys, good morning. Hopefully y'all can see me pretty well with the sun behind me. So I, not we, I am at Choke Canyon, the main lake. As you saw from our last video, we weren't catching crap in the river. So there's uh, quite a bit of people they've been catching over here. Uh, so we're gonna give it a shot. We're actually gonna test out the, the new rod that uh, Runkle gave us. So we got that rigged up. We got it set up on the Ugly Stick Elite. So it's an Ugly Stick Elite. I was looking for an inshore select, uh, but Bassport didn't have any. Uh, so they had this one. So we're gonna go and try that one out, see how that works. But we basically just brought uh, three rods. So I'm gonna have uh, one that's gonna have the Runkle. We're gonna be actively jigging on that guy. And then uh, I'm gonna have two other ones uh, uh, just set up with uh, minnows just because I want to catch something so we'll see so hopefully you know if they don't bite the lures hopefully they'll bite the minnows I still got to find them though I've never fished the main lake so stay tuned and we'll see how we do guys so we'll be right back set up in our first spot looked like I was marking some fish down there we will see like potentially the first fish see what we got we got a gas <laughs> well not our target species Whoa. but it's a fish I wonder if, I wonder if that's what I'm marking down there Give it a couple more, a couple more shots. Hey guys, so like I was saying, uh, Runko, they reached out to me and uh, they asked if I do a, a product test for them. So they have these new uh, uh, Runko 2 Titans. They're, they're spinning reels and they also have some uh, bait casters. Uh, but they asked which one did I want to try and, and I'm much more uh, familiar with spinning reels. 
So that's what I ended up asking for. So they just asked which model I wanted. And uh, I wanted kind of like an in-between, one that I could use for, for white bass that wasn't going to be overkill. And one that I could also still use for uh, redfish or even the coast. Because this is a uh, saltwater uh, slash uh, freshwater reel. And uh, you saw my unboxing. You saw that it survives accidental dunks in the water. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I do like it so far. Um, the color scheme, definitely like the color scheme. I like the shape of the body. The handle feels pretty good. Uh, also has any reverse, which I don't use that a whole lot, but it's nice to have. But I have a feeling, I have a feeling the fish we're marking here are probably gonna be, it might be gas. I'll probably give it here a couple more minutes and then we're going to move on. Yeah, so guys, I don't... Uh, so obviously I don't know this lake very well. Well, not very well. I don't know this lake at all. I fish the river. But uh, basically all I'm doing is I'm following the river riverbed. I'm trying to stay on the shallower side. I say shallow is like you know 20 30 feet I'm trying to see if I see any good sized schools because if I do find them then it should just be automatic hopefully but we'll see we gotta keep looking See what we find. Yeah, that last spot initially looked a little promising, but I think it was gas for dudes that were there. But even then, it wasn't like a whole ton of them. Well, guys trying to fish a lake you've never fished before or at least again here the main lake and this lake is huge maybe it's, it's hard trying to find a spot well we keep uh I keep going down um, I'm just following the river at least a riverbed and I've been stopping on some points just to see if I'm even seeing anything I've seen some pockets of fish but uh nothing that's biting we're here trying another spot finally threw out some minnows for the first time but all we got is that, that one gas per goo, I think, at that first spot. And so far, nothing else. I had to warm myself up, I had a lot of scar. Well, we're 
and keep searching. I mean, thankfully, I've only been fishing for about maybe an hour and a half. So I haven't been out here a long, long time. Let's stay tuned. Hopefully my camera batteries last. I've got three of them, but this first one's already going to die. I haven't even been recording that long. So I'm going to have to start conserving some of my battery juice. Alright guys. I think we might have Finally found a spot. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Alrighty. Target species. Too small. Got one over here. All right, I think we got our spot. on this one. So I think we finally got our spot guys. So a buddy of mine sent me a spot to check out. And yep. Yep, yep, yep. They are here. We're marking them. Not big ones. There you guys. We finally found a, a decent spot. Oh, that one should be a keeper. Hopefully I can get some dinner. Oh, and look, he has a, he's got a minnow on there too. That one, I think that should be a keeper. Yep, 12 inches. Well, maybe I can get some dinner.
see if I can get a couple more of those. That will be dinner for me. They're already biting the back one. And I got this one. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Oh, here they go. Catfish. Not he broke my hook too. But I think I got one back here. Probably using these real small hooks, guys. These things break real easy. Oh, there we go. Let's throw them back. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Probably just gonna leave um, one with the uh, live minnows because the point of the strip is to try out this reel. You can feel them hitting it on the way down. There we go. Another decent one. be big enough. Yeah, eleven and a half. Dinner.
Man, I'm glad he told me the spot because I probably would have been looking at all over this lake. So he actually gave me about four spots to try. Uh, the first spot I passed through, I didn't really see anything. But this one, I was marking fish on the bottom. I mean, they're right on the bottom. Another good eater. This be another 12 inch probably. Yep. All right, guys. So we finally got a little good spot here so yeah so talking about this reel i know i've said it a couple times already but yeah runkle they reached out to me to try it out so far i like it it's pretty smooth not bad at all so the promo and i'll put the i'll put it in the description or somewhere down here in the bottom of the screen but the promo they have going on for the next six months if you go to their website and if you use the code OCD for my guide service OCD the number two and then Runkle R-U-N-C-L for the next six months they're doing a 15% off if you buy using that code Throw that one back. Looks like guys, pretty, pretty solid reel. Looks built pretty well. So far, I'm liking it. I would love to get a double. I want to get a double. I want to get a two fish and one and one rod. There you go. Hey, that one feels good. Yep. Dinner. Dinner, dinner. Twelve inches. So yeah, guys, check out. Really, really nice, guys. Like I said it also has the anti reverse, it's not bad. Don't use it a whole lot on my reels, but it's not bad to have it. Man, look at that already. I can get a Double. Come on, something else. Take the other one. They're liking the, the bottom jig more than anything else. Throw this guy back. Now, 
was kind of starting to beat myself up. Thinking I should have done the river instead. And I already did. definitely see this lake guys I mean it, it's it's huge way way bigger than say Calaveras especially bigger than Browning I can definitely see this lake if you have some high winds yeah it would be some rough water to be fishing on that's for sure I mean almost everything is just open water so at least Calaveras Calaveras at least, you know, if, it's, if the wind's blowing from the south, you can kind of fish the the rock wall and that wind will be blowing over you. You get some protection from that. But if it's coming from the north, you're kind of screwed there also. But uh, here, man, it doesn't seem like any part of the lake you choose. I mean, I guess from where you launched, because I launched on the south shore, that's back over here. Man, that sucks because it the ramps there and I went all the way down almost to Mason's Point, which if you know this lake is pretty far. I could have just started right here. running away. Oh, the back one's all the way over there. like I'm fishing the river. Gotta be all the males. How much do 
much for size. But they're still fun to catch. Eleven inch. Yep. Keep that one. All right, guys, take a little break from filming. I'm smoke most of my cigar. Already out to about. I think I've got like eight that I've kept so far. I'm gonna have dinner. Uh, I'm gonna my dad over. I already called him. He's gonna go. I'm gonna do some uh, beer battered white bass. I'm see my daughter and, and her girlfriend Sydney. See if they want to come over. Because they're not working. And if not, I'll probably just cook some for my neighbors. But uh, yeah, we've got like eight in the box that we're keeping. I think only like two or three so far have been under 10 inches. I think we're up to about 25 already. It's not bad, I've only been here about maybe 25 minutes. That's probably been a lot of probably been like 30, 35, 40 minutes. But yeah, really liking the reel. So again, if you guys want to get one, uh, I'll have the, their website linked below where you can go to and again if you use the uh, the promo code OCD2FISHING they'll get you 15% uh, off and that promotion runs I think till June 9th I believe so would really appreciate it if you guys need a reel for someone yourself birthday gift go in there use the code uh, I'm not sponsored by them like I said they just sent me this reel to try out but uh, who knows if maybe we get enough people to buy maybe I like could Maybe it could turn into like a sponsorship or something. I, I actually don't even know how that works. But even if it just means like free gear, I'm down for that. I really want to try this guy out on some reds. Probably won't see how that's going to work out till maybe like maybe mid to late March. But these fish are like literally hugging the bottom. Well guys, we ended up pretty pretty good at the end, thankfully. Able to get um I think I ended up keeping about 12. But we definitely got over 30. And uh yeah, really, really 
liking that reel really want to give it a shot you know on some bigger fish but for right now it's white bass season so once again guys if you get a chance to check out the website you know they were able to help me out let's see if we can help them out get them some sales but until then see y'all later thanks for joining bye